Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Well, I know I have a lot of new viewers and thank you very much. I appreciate you guys tuning in. A couple of you have asked me a question. You've said, Matt, why is it that you talk a lot about fitness and things like that on your channel when on other channels uh, we don't really see that a whole lot? Well, quite simply uh, because I had cancer. I had cancer surgery, I had to recover from it, and it basically whooped the tar out of me, uh, to use an old expression. Make a long story short, tumor, size of my fist, right kidney. Right kidney and everything around it needed to come out. So basically, they carve you open like a Thanksgiving turkey from here all the way under there. And then they do all these procedures that basically uh, make you glow in the dark and are pretty detrimental to your body, but it, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. And for those of you who've had open heart surgery or something like that where they've had to saw your sternum, I'm sure that uh, uh, you can chime in there and you can understand what it is that I'm talking about. But anyway, I was bedridden for much longer than what I thought I would be. Uh, it is amazing how quickly the muscles atrophy and especially once you've had certain procedures done it's like everything just kind of goes and that's it um, I literally had to teach myself how to walk again and success was measured every day by the number of steps that I could take you know could I walk back and forth in my apartment you know one time two times three times could I make it to the door could I make it down to the bottom of the steps and then back up again? And literally, that's how it went for me. Now, when you're 25 and everything's going along great, you know, you, you don't have a care in the world. You think you're immortal and nothing's going to happen to you. But when a doctor says the big C word, then suddenly your life changes and you don't know what you had until you lose it. So at that point, you have a choice. The choice is to either quit or to fight. And I chose to fight because I wasn't gonna quit. And uh, that was just with life in general. Now, the interesting part of the, of the whole equation was, the first time I went to pick up a handgun, oh man, it was horrible. I couldn't hold a handgun out like this because my arm sitting here going boogity 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 and my wrist and my hand is going boogity 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 just like this and it's like uh wait a second i could drill shots before and that was with a handgun when it came to a long gun like a 22 rifle a shotgun it's the same thing it's like oh i got this big weight out here and everything's just moving around and First time fired a shotgun, oh man, you want to talk about feeling pain. Uh, so anyway, talk to the doctor about it, talk to a physical therapist, a sports physiologist, all that stuff, and tried to figure out you know, what it would take to get back on track. And along that same uh, line, I had a couple of people tell me, just pack it in, give it up, forget it, your life isn't going to be the same. No, that's not my nature. I'm not going to quit. I am not going to quit. I am going to fight. I'm not going to let cancer beat me. And, you know, I, it's not my first rodeo. I've stared down cancer twice. And cancer is a very evil disease. But I wasn't going to let it beat me. And so I went on a quest, and the quest is simply physical fitness. Now it has to be part of my daily routine, whether it's working out with grippers, working with weights, going to the gym, doing cardio, whatever else, that has been my road that I have chosen. So, you know, if you're not moving forward, you're moving back. For those of you who've had open heart surgery, something like that, you know what it does to you. Uh, for those of you in the uh, shooting sports and the martial arts who have had heart difficulties and you've been placed on certain drugs and it's caused your muscles to atrophy, you know exactly what I'm saying. So my encouragement to you is never give up. Never, ever, ever let it beat you. Fight it as long as you can. And that's it. So for you new viewers, in a nutshell, that's why I talk about fitness. So... 
Thanks for watching. Hope it answers your question. And everybody out there, have a good one and be safe.